short production run for the beautiful little car in his time. In two different liveries, as you can see. That's an earlier one. And then John Chatburn with FP7880. That, that burst is the end of the line, but squashed in between is the Mini. Again, in original state. So thank you, John. And this lovely Morgan. The driver can't see, but everybody else can see all the workings, which is pretty impressive. That's right. It's still going, yeah. <laughs> Even a spare wheel. I can see later. Cool, I'm old enough to remember seeing him driving around. I'm older than I thought. Anyhow, this lovely Austin going past. Bit dodgy passengers in the back, but kind of everything. And then the Ford. All done up from a wreck, if I remember rightly. This lovely Morris A Tour. They were impressive cars, I always thought. I always wanted one, but couldn't afford one. But never mind. And of course you had the solid saloon as well. Some more various make. And the Jaguar that's not as old as I said. 1960 something. And well done. Thank you for coming, Bill. Bill with his MG midget. And the other MG. Some impressive MGs we got here, they're always lovely cars. And of course Morris cars, minor or thousand, whatever you call them, the convertible, the traveller, the saloon, lovely job. And uh, the steersman in there is doing a good job. That is pretty good. That's right, thank you for coming. Another young steersman there. We've got to look after the younger generation and they're under complete supervision. Which is more than you can say for the commentator. And that lovely A40, which is original. And that lovely gold the owner in any case. While the cars are passing, I'll say a brief thank you to our car stewards and all the stewards and all the others involved with the rally. They've been working really hard, but they're highly delighted with the, the results, I should think. The Reliance Simmons are passing us. Thank you very much. And this lovely sporty Austin. I've always had a soft spot for Austin 7 i I'm glad you put it back as it should be, sir. And then David and his Austin, yes, another masterpiece there. Yes, not that, yes, jolly good. I like the hat, matching hats almost. His and hers. There's something to MC the public car. Then we go to the wide open spaces of America for this one. Pretty impressive job. Not a much about it, but it looks impressive. The old 100E was always popular. Well, sorry, after that, that was a Ford. That's one that's popular, but that was under the prefect badge there, but it's still a 100E underneath. And the Cortina. Oh, happy days, going back in time. And they, some of them would rust out completely, others would survive, and a lot of good work has gone on with some of these, including the one passing us now. And getting this one back into existence after after being dumped in the garden again. Well done. Well, I think we've got a refugee from the commercial section, Mr. Locke, with his, with his, uh, with his vehicle. Yeah, an E83W commercial. I remember now you show me, yeah. And, and you've done it up, Casey. Yeah, and where's the klaxon? I know, I remember it now, yes. He's winding me up yesterday. Not safe up here in the... Well, he is in the condo. Safer up here than down there. Jolly good. Nice to see number 60. And then Mike and then he's just huddling on. All the way from Thoroughbeer and Stoke St. Mary. Nearly, nearly six miles, I reckon. A lovely car. If you're thinking of getting married, that's the car to book for your wedding. A bit faster than the train did. Anyhow, 